Hey, hey, this is Tracy Kelly again, coming to do another makeup tutorial. This time a spider on my face. Uh, hopefully it doesn't scare anyone away. I'm going as a witch um, with my floofy skirt and my, of course, sparkly holographic hat that I have no idea if it'll actually stay up. So we'll figure that out. But if not, I have the face done. Um, again, Pinterest inspiration, finding different things on there and then just throwing it all together. I have to go ultra fast. So this will be a good test if I can pick up my pace um, because we have to trick or treat in 50 minutes. So I'm just gonna go and try to talk, but also move quickly. Um, this is my normal bronzer, my Color Street bronzer, bronzer bomb. I'm just going to do this normal. I love this bomb. Um, I'm actually probably going to add um, some gray to my like uh, bronzer area. I'll do that later. This is my blush, Bashful. It has sparkles in it. Love it. Highlighter bomb. Again, my favorite. It gives you a little bit of glow, which a witch probably doesn't need, but I like starting off with a normal base versus um, just like Halloween makeup. So that's what I've been doing. Okay, so I'm going to do my lips first because uh, for whatever reason, I like to do my lips first because I don't like when they look all dry out <laughs> from my like foundation and stuff. I'm using this, I've used this in several of my other videos so far, NYX um, Lingerie XXL. Um, it is a lipstick, but it pretty much lasts like a lip stain um, and hangs around for a bit. I wore it for several, several hours the other night and it didn't budge. Um, and my son, he chewed off half his, but <laughs> so I'm gonna do my black lipstick. I like this stuff. I do not like the wand. It is not, it's too flexible. Um, I'm not gonna stop there and look like a crazy person. I'm gonna use this uh, as a um, lip liner. Gonna do this eyeliner. I like nice crisp lines and with that, um, with that um, wand, it's not, I like the product, but don't care for the wand. Let's see how I do on rushing. I'm a perfectionist. a natural point to my lips but I've been exaggerating them a little bit with the Halloween costume stuff gosh I am butchering it tonight enough for now. I'll probably come back and touch it up towards the end. Okay. So eyeshadow wise, I'm going to do a dark eye. I have stuff all over my desk. I'm working. Oh, I don't have, I was hoping I had a black glitter in there. I don't, but we will make it work. Okay. Let's do some, we're going to mix and match some things. Um, I'm going to use this Mary Kay liquid, I think it's called graphite, as my sparkly. This is going to be on one eye. I'm not doing both eyes. I'm just going to do one as a body of a spider. 
And of course I have to have sparkly. I'm running out of this, so I'm like scraping the jar. Um, as you've seen in my other videos, I just like to get a ton of product on there and then um, come back and blend and stuff. I am not a professional makeup artist. I am an amateur that is a regular artist experimenting with my face as the canvas. Okay. I'm gonna do um, this eyeliner, which is my, sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, I'm gonna do this eyeliner, which is my Mary Kay, um, just cause I know like my eyes are sensitive and this is okay for my eyes. I always recommend finding products that obviously work with your skin and don't irritate. Um, that's what I love about my Color Street products. I am a stylist, a consultant for Color Street, um, but I love one of my favorite parts is that their products are clean. Um, I just did my nails today in Perfect Poison. Um, I did my fingers and my toes in 25 minutes. Uh, that demo is on my profile if you want to check it out. Um, gosh, I really wish I could use that lipstick on my eyes, but it's pretty hard to come off. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Let's go for it. I don't think I have to be anywhere necessarily tomorrow that I can, can't, I don't have to look super crazy. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is take one of these and dip into that lipstick. <laughs> this could be a disaster. <laughs> okay. Better use my mirror since I'm blind. I'm going to put some of that sparkly on later. I'll clean up my lines here in a minute. And then they went underneath as well. Okay, we're just gonna do that for a minute. And then we'll do some cleaning up here. Gonna do some NYX. Um, this is my favorite, um, it's Epic Link Ink Liner. So this is going to be the body of the spider on my eye. Okay, so she has it kind of coming to a point here. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch over. I like using, again, my products that I know don't irritate uh, my skin or my eyes and things like that around. Um, where did my, there it is. We're gonna use this one that came in an Epsy bag. I haven't been able, it's kind of a bummer cause I like it and I haven't been able to find it on like Amazon. So I need to look. So I have a hooded eye, so, oops, hopefully you can see that. So I'm starting up a little bit. Fill that in. Okay. 
Okay, so then a spider has eight legs, right? Um, before I do that, I am going to, um, you know what? I'm not going to darken up my eyebrows because I don't want them to take away from the design. Um, okay. So I think what I'm going to do actually is take my liner brush. Um, I take that back. I'm going to use this paintbrush I used the other night. Um, and I'm going to just do it to draw my legs out first. I've never done a spider before. And again, I'm just doing it enough that I can see it. I dampened my paintbrush just a little bit. I like the paintbrushes because as an artist, I'm like pretty used to those. I'm dipping my paintbrush in a little bit of water just to um, just to get it to guide. I'm gonna use my my crease and my little um, scowl line. I don't know why I have such a scowl line. I don't feel like I scowl that much. I'll get that one to go there. And then this one is gonna come up a little higher and then down. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Why do I have five legs? One, two, three, four. Why does she have five legs? Spiders only have eight, right? <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna get rid of this one because actually we're gonna erase these two. I'm like that's not right, one. Two, three. Yeah, maybe two are like pinchers. Um, but I'm gonna stick with eight legs. I wanna go traditional spider. Okay, so. So instead, we're gonna meet them in the middle. And then come down. Okay, so then my other one's got to kind of mimic that. So this one's going to kind of reflect that one up there. Hopefully this does not look crazy because I have to go with it because soon as I'm done, we are going out to trick or treat. See, those legs are going different. I don't know. <laughs> now I should have just done it myself. Okay, these legs, we're going to make go the same way. I should have noticed that off the bat. better okay you can clean up those areas up here make sure I don't have green in there left for my Frankenstein get rid of some of these oh, oh. you're seeing my amateur hour come out here okay but you'll see me fix it okay we're just gonna go in with the black now that I got um, the kinks worked out I think that will work just fine so we're going to start on this inside one. I'm going to make it a little more pointed down. I 
if you're a true spider fan, I apologize. If this is not um, anatomically right. And I'm not going to worry about that line there because I'm actually going to add shad shadows of the legs. Sorry, I'm trying not to block. Oh, that looks kind of cool. See how I put my wrist down? Again, this is something I do when I um, paint for uh, extra um, balance. So I'm doing wide to, to more narrow as I move up. Okay. Why do we make faces with our lips when we do things that don't even pertain to our lips? I think we need to figure that out. Okay, what am I doing on time? Oh, I gotta pick up the pace, okay. this up a little bit. So we're going out trick-or-treating. It was 70, degree, 70 degrees last week. And tonight, when we go trick-or-treating, it's going to be 42. Said so it feels like um, I forget what it said. It feels like 36 or something like that. And there's a chance of snow starting at 8. So we'll be done by then. But it's like Ohio weather never knows what it's doing. Okay. bad for rushing. My thin skin just turned 40 in March. Can I stretch that out if I can? These are the non-amateur faces I'm making. That one's really hard to do. Not too shabby. Okay. So I'm going to pause there for a minute to give my mouth a break from all the faces I've been doing. And I don't know where the lid is, of course. The only thing about these videos is I lose my stuff, like, all the time. I don't know how I can have a small desk and lose all my stuff. I'm going to do some black over here, but I'm not doing another eye in the spider. I'm only doing one eye. Then we're 
going to go into that gray, um, I think it's called graphite maybe, uh, Mary Kay gray. Um, we're going to go into this. We're going to have a mixture. Okay. And I'm going to use that that's loaded with that gray. And this is where I'm going to start to do some of my blending. Again, um, a lot of these products are not, you know, like I'm using some lip stuff towards my eyes and vice versa. Um, probably not recommended by the, the people <laughs> that make the products. Um, so you have to do what works for you. Um, I'm using this blender brush to kind of pull it up. For more of a smoky eye. I want to get it darker than normal, which is why I use the um that lipstick because I don't have any black eyeshadow at this time. Okay. I'm gonna use that epic eyeliner, liquid liner. I love this stuff. And I'm gonna do pretty thick compared to what I normally do. The only thing is letting it dry. Hopefully that cat eye is okay, because we're just gonna run with it. I think it's okay. And I can't even tell what's going on with this eye over here because of the, the spider's body. <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna stop there for now because, what was it, 5.33? Because I gotta get my kid in his costume and all that fun stuff. I do have our treat bags already done. I am gonna add a little bit more on this side than I would normally do. I don't do um, bottom ma uh, mascara. And I really don't use a lot of eyeliner in general because on my bottom, because I have such watery eyes, like this will probably be gone really quick after starting trick or treat because um, my eyes water so much. Okay, there's that. I don't know where that lid is. I don't know where that lid is. I'm on Struggle Street. That goes to that. That does not go to that. still missing a lid okay so I'm gonna go ahead um, again in my last couple videos um, I've mentioned this waterproof mascara um, that color street just launched it is amazing I'm not saying that just because I um, I can't see my eyelashes on this side but I'm still gonna do them because of all the black um, it is amazing how long it lasts how much it lifts how much it builds, um, and it's just crazy good. Um, probably the best, it is the best I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot of mascaras in my day. So you do not need to do the curler. I've always used a curler, but also the main reason is because um, I want to get more of a fake lash look since it's Halloween. I want it to be big and bold, even though this side we're probably not going to even see that much because of the black. Oh, I still got to do the leg shadows. So you probably can't even see this, but it is crazy building. You'll be able to see this side a little bit more. Um, it has long bristles, which help lift and separate and um, let you do the lift wiggle swoop. And then it has the shorter bristles, which act like a reservoir. So you'll notice I didn't go back into my tube. 
um, because if I rotate like I just did, I'm gonna get more product to add to the volume aspect. And then when I come back, I'm gonna start halfway up. I'm not gonna do that much on this side just because you can't really see it anyways. So this is thicker than what I normally do. Um, but again, Halloween, trying to get like more of a fake lash look, which I've seen many people do with this. I just don't typically go that big. Okay. So now real quick, I'm gonna go back to my paintbrush and my dark gray eyeshadow. And I'm going to water it down. This is just to add a little bit of shadowing. So it's just, again, not flat. And I'm not even too concerned if it doesn't like hit every part. Just adding some dimension. Shadows on the wrong side. Probably would have taken about 15 more, more minutes had I not been crunched on time. But I'm also trying to challenge myself to go faster in general because I am definitely one that can um, focus too long on something. So I'm going to take some of the silver, I think. A little bit to my bronzer area. And this is just that Mary Kay eyeshadow. A little bit more here. Good enough, I think, for tonight. I like it with my nails. I'm ready. Mascara. Love it all. Happy Halloween.